Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know your fuel injector is stuck open? The first sign that you know your fuel injector is stuck open is going to be poor gas mileage. So basically if your injector is stuck open, it's going to start to drip a lot of fuel into the uh, combustion chamber and if it's too much, it's going to go straight into the uh, exhaust system. The next sign is going to be poor engine performance. So if the fuel injector is stuck open, that means it's going to leak a lot of gasoline in the combustion chamber. When it leaks too much, it can cause the spark plug at the electrode to become wet and it can prevent the gasoline from igniting. When the gasoline cannot ignite due to a spark plug that is extremely wet and soaked in gasoline, it immediately is going to cause an engine misfire. Therefore, when you have an engine misfire, you're going to notice that your engine is running on less cylinder, therefore causing that poor uh, engine performance. If you suspect that you have an engine misfire, it is best to remove the spark plug and check to make sure that it is not wet. At the same time, you want to check for spark. And if you have spark, and let's just say you have good compression, there's a good chance that the fuel injector is stuck open and causing the uh, spark plug to become wet and soaked in gasoline. If your spark plug cannot ignite the uh, fuel, that means all that fuel that's caused by a leaky fuel injector is going to go straight into your exhaust system. The first thing you're going to notice is going to be fuel dripping out of your exhaust manifold, fuel dripping out of your tailpipe. When there's too much fuel being uh, pushed into the exhaust system, a few things can happen. Number one, it's going to destroy your catalytic converter and turn it, turn it, make it uh, run extremely hot. And also, you're going to notice that white smoke coming out of your uh, tailpipe simply because all that heat from the exhaust system is burning up that fuel causing that white smoke to come out. When you have all that gasoline being dumped into the exhaust system, drivers going to notice one thing, gasoline smell. Basically all that gasoline that's being heated up into the exhaust, all that fume is going to go straight into the cabin. So again, you're going to notice that strong gasoline smell or fuel smell. There are a lot of different ways you could test for a leaky fuel injector. The first thing to do is obviously is to remove the uh, spark plug and check if it's wet. If it's wet, there's a good chance that, that you have a leaky uh, fuel injector. The next test is very simple. All you need is a screwdriver. So basically a good fuel injector should have a consistent click, like click, 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 click. So all you have to do is take that screwdriver and touch each fuel injector. So basically what you're feeling on your handle is going to be a consistent click. It can be felt through the uh, handle. So touch each one. If you feel that one fuel injector has a very inconsistent click, there's a good chance that fuel injector is faulty. The next test is very simple. All you need is a fuel pressure tester. So what you want to do is take the fuel pressure tester and hook it onto the Schrader valve on the fuel rail. Next, start the engine, let it run for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, turn it off. Now let's just say your vehicle should have about 45 PSI in the fuel system. If you notice the uh, fuel pressure keeps dropping to let's just say close to zero within a few minutes, there's a good chance that the fuel system is uh, losing fuel pressure caused by a leaky fuel injector. Again, let's just say PSI should be around 45. Ideally, it should be able to maintain at 45 PSI for at least 5 minutes. If the PSI dropped too much, let's just say below 20 and more, again, it's going to be caused by a leaky fuel injector. Of course, there are a lot of different factors that can cause the fuel system to lose pressure. For example, you can, you can have a bad check valve in the fuel pump. You can even have a bad fuel pressure regular. So make sure you check those things as well. In addition, if you have a leak somewhere in your fuel system, of course, that's going to cause a loss in fuel pressure as well. The next test is going to be time consuming. What you have to do is remove the fuel injector together with the fuel rail and with the fuel line still connected to it. Next, prime the fuel pump. Basically, key on, engine off. If you see one of the fuel injectors is just leaking fluid from there, there's a good chance that injector is going to be the issue. And lastly, if you don't fix that leaking fuel injector, it can cause your engine to hydro lock. Basically, a buildup of fuel in the combustion chamber. What, when your engine hydro lock, it can cause your uh, valves to bend and it also can cause your connecting rod to bend as well. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.